Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another session of story time with me. I'm Ms. Seema and you're watching Seema Story Time. Children, I hope you all are doing fine in whichever part of the world you are and enjoying our stories. Yes, thank you so much for enjoying our stories, liking our stories and of course I'm sure that you're sharing them with all your dear ones. Great, lovely, good to know that. Children, so there are times when, um, when we say friends, your face suddenly lights up, yes? And we all love to have friends in our lives. It's the most exciting thing to happen to us, isn't it? Yes, you share with them, you play with them, you eat with them, you even go for long walks with them, you even fight with them, yes? But then all that is such an exciting thing, isn't it? But there is somebody who is unable to make friends. So who is that? So today's story is Misha makes friends. So Misha makes friends means she's actually not able to make friends. She's unable. Maybe she has some uh, fear or some scare or she is a little hesitant. But then somebody is comes into her life and the whole thing changes. Who is this person? And what actually happens? And then Misha is very, very excited. Do you want to know that? I really want to know that. So let's not wait and let's read the story. Misha makes friends. Children, the name of the story is Misha Makes Friends by Tom Percival. Misha loved making things. She could make pictures out of numbers and pictures out of sounds. Sometimes he, she made pictures out of both. But there was one thing that Misha found hard to make. Friends. Everybody else seemed to find it easy, but not Misha. When she tried, she didn't know what to do, what to say or when to say. For Misha, making friends was so difficult that she wondered if she would ever be able to do it. Then one evening, Misha had an idea. She got out her pens, her pencils and all her other tools. Then she started to cut and stick and glue and sew. Soon she had made a whole group of really fun friends. Friends that were easy to be around. Friends that could take her. Friends that she could take with her wherever she went. Admittedly, Misha's new friends weren't very good at tennis or football or catch. But Misha felt comfortable with them and that was what mattered. One day Misha's mom said they were going to a party. She said there would be a lot of nice people there. She said it would be fun. Misha wasn't so sure. The party was noisy, chaotic and unpredictable. Everyone else was playing together and Misha just couldn't find a way to join in. She ran off to find a quiet corner where she could make her own friends. Misha sat happily for a while until she realized that something didn't feel right. A boy was watching her. Hi, I'm Josh. Can I see what you're making? For a while, Misha said nothing. 
But then she took a deep breath and showed him her friends. Wow, gasped Josh. They are amazing. Can you show me how to make one? Misha was worried. What if he got it all wrong? What if he spoiled everything? But Josh didn't look like he would try to spoil things. So, Misha showed him what to do. And do you know what? Josh didn't get it all wrong and he didn't spoil anything either. In fact, now that she was making things with someone else, it was even better. Soon, Misha and Josh had built a whole town for their friends to live in together. Let's go and show the others, said Josh. Misha wasn't sure. But Josh's smile made her feel that it would be all okay. And it was. For the first time ever, Misha knew exactly what to say and what to do. And that was how the friends that Misha made helped Misha make friends. The end. So children, Misha meets Josh at a party. And Misha realizes that Josh is exactly like her, not able to make friends very soon. And then they strike a chord and they become good friends. And in turn, Josh and Misha make more friends because everyone realizes that Misha has this unique talent of making toy people and toy cities out of scrap and that was the most exciting part wherein everybody is starts praising Misha and Misha finds it so nice and she in turn makes a lot of friends. Children, it's very true sometimes we keep hiding a lot of talent which is there in us and we feel that nobody is going to like it. But you will not believe it. People love it. Your friends will love it. And you will make more and more friends as you go along. Yes. So I hope and pray that you make a lot of friends in your lives. You have some very good and best friends. And they stay with you forever. Children, with that thought, we come to the end of another exciting story session with me. We'll come back with more. Till then, from our story room, it's a bye-bye. See you soon.